This is a 17-year-old MacBook Pro. This thing is basically old enough to drive and almost old enough to vote. The only reason you'd go down this route is because of a tight, tight budget, because there are far better, newer options. But like anything else, there's a price you pay to play. My job here today is to identify whether this laptop can actually be useful in today's world. This is all part of the 2000s tech series I've been working on, and this one was quite surprising. Hello friends, I'm Mike and welcome to Dreamin' Digital. I found this little gem on eBay. I've been stalking eBay lately, not something I normally do, but it's a fun way to find cool stuff like this for my 2000s tech series. This is a 13 inch MacBook Pro, the A1278 edition from 2008. It came with two gigs of RAM and a 120 gigabyte mechanical hard drive, all for 80 bucks. Let me get ahead of this and tell you that in this configuration that it arrived in, it just won't do much. And even when I upgrade it, it still won't be a gaming or video editing rig. It'll be fantastic for going online, research, emailing, business stuff. However, because of its hardware limitations, nothing that will challenge the processing or graphics will bode well for this rig. I want you to have expectations here so you aren't disappointed and yell at me in the end. I know some creators are like, oh, we turned this 500 year old PC into a gaming rig. That's not what we're doing here. We're saving this laptop from the landfill for sure. And we're building something that can be used by someone who needs a basic computer. Here's a quick list of what came with it at birth. As you can see, the components inside this thing stock won't be able to play solitaire in today's world. So I upgraded a few things that were just too easy to ignore. The RAM's going from two gigs that it came with to eight gigs, which is the ceiling we hit when I looked online and found out that that's all that she wrote for this laptop. The RAM was only $12.99 on Amazon and that's for two four gigabyte sticks. I also replaced the hard drive. The 120 gig mechanical hard drive is probably the main component holding this laptop back. Solid state drives like these have proven to be revolutionary in breathing new life into older machines. This will be the main component that improves the speed of this machine and will definitely extend the lifespan quite a bit. I had a one terabyte SSD laying around. However, if you need to buy one, Amazon has many options at around 50 bucks. And I'll make sure to link everything I'm suggesting here in the description below. Next up was the battery. I don't know how the old battery is in here. I mean, it could have been good, but it's probably the same age as the laptop. So I felt, why not give this laptop its best foot forward and just replace the battery? That was another 40 bucks. The battery ended up being about the same as the old one, like an hour unplugged of juice. Not impressive, but it's something. I guess being plugged in might be the only way to go here. So all in all, we're in 182 bucks for what should be a working MacBook Pro. Now, I spent some time trying to fix something that just wasn't broken. The backlit keyboard wasn't actually a backlit keyboard. It doesn't come with one. So I ordered a new keyboard thinking I knew what I was getting myself into. I thought the keyboard was busted. The replacement of this thing was so annoying and it was time consuming. And at times it was nerve wracking and caused anxiety. I think I spent a total of like two hours replacing the entire thing. Come to find out it wasn't the right keyboard it needed just the backlight part and this motherboard does in fact have a little receptacle for the little ribbon cable that comes with the backlight part uh, I will replace it and get myself some sweet glow eventually possibly I don't know if I have some time to kill and want to punish myself again for a couple hours I'll definitely post up a little bit little video about it on my patreon now aesthetically the body is just super clean the screen has no noticeable scratches. This is kind of rare for a 17 year old piece of gear. Uh, I'm glad it looks as good as it does, right? <laughs> um, I'll make sure it stays minty fresh though. It came with some version of macOS. I wasn't about to play those reindeer games. I ended up trying three different versions of Linux based operating systems until I finally settled on Zubuntu 18.04.5, which was recommended as a stable version that plays well with these older Macs. I'd originally been using Linux Mint, but it proved a bit too heavy for the Core 2 Duo inside this thing. Downloading and installing the operating system is super easy. You download the operating system from the link I provide down below. 
Belena Etcher is the best way to create a bootable USB drive and then just plug in your USB stick and hold down the option button while you press start until you see the option to boot from the USB drive. And then it's all smooth sailing, super simple process. Now, when you're in, you'll have to hardwire temporarily to the uh, to the internet because none of these operating systems like to include Wi-Fi drivers for these Macs. Uh, so all you gotta do is type in this info into your terminal and reboot and you're set. And that's really it. Overall, the operation is smooth and quick. Zubuntu's nice. I like it. I think this might take the place of my Mac mini. I took this machine with us on our vacation and I was able to use it to book some tickets and I did some writing in LibreOffice. I love how Linux has their own programs that are strikingly similar to Microsoft, yet these are all free. Uh, funny, right? And just a quick aside, the reason I took this on our trip was because it's an $80 laptop. So worst case scenario, someone comes into the hotel room, we get robbed, you know, something crazy happens because we were traversing through the whole United States. Uh, I won't be as upset. I won't cry. You know, I won't cry if someone steals this because it was 80 bucks. I mean, I'll cry a little bit, a little tear might come out, but it, it won't be like a, my brand new MacBook Air or it won't be like someone stole my, my gaming rig. It won't be devastating, right? So that's another huge value for, for rigs like these. You can take them with you, they're functional, but you won't like be super upset if, if it gets swiped or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not gonna be uh, a devastation. So I decided to see how far down the rabbit hole this machine can go. So I downloaded Sound Juicer Ambrosero. This machine was able to rip my Batman Forever CD. You guys laugh. The CD is the most underrated soundtrack of all time, I guarantee it. It was uh, able to just rip it just fine, and then I was able to burn a CD using Bracero. So then I thought, well, I wonder if I could sail the high seas with this thing. So I downloaded Qubit Torrent for Linux and strapped on my VPN by Surfshark, not sponsored, but I should be, and that worked too. So there are more than just basic computing that you can achieve with this machine, but you have to have expectations on speed, on multitasking, which is where this laptop does struggle a bit. In a world that wants you to upgrade your life every six to 12 months, this is a nice middle finger to the establishment of Apple, and you're saving some tech trash from the landfill. So at this point, I'll pat myself on the back and move on to the next piece of 2000s tech because I think we've established that this is more than just a relic from the past. You can use this in 2025 just fine. Thanks for watching everybody and making it to the end. I think I'm really enjoying filming these throwback 2000s videos on this channel a little too much. If you like what I'm doing here, I humbly ask that you subscribe to the channel. If you really want to be a part of things, my Patreon is a great way to show some love. And if you really want to show your support, make the like button break things with you back in the 2000s. Don't forget to ring the bell to get notified every time I drop a fresh new video. Take care, friends.